Hey everybody, my name's Commander Eagle131, and I'd like to show off my Nova Galactic Venerator. The Venerator design was my return to Nova Galactic builds after building other style brands for so long. I wanted to design a cool factor ship, something with slightly more form over function. The vessel's main feature is an ormillary viewing area. I've already done this on the Arc Class Expedition Cruiser build, but this build has HAB's surrounding device and offers way better views than the Arc's lab ever could. I take zero credit for the Venerator's armillary view design that was taken directly from another ship builder, but more on that in a bit. The Venerator being built mostly as a cool ship to cruise around in, it doesn't really excel in any one department and is instead a modest jack-of-all-trades ship and can probably be considered a light roleplay vessel as well. It's a B-class ship boasting 6 crew, about 3,000 cargo, about 20 light year jump range, and a mobility rating of 50. So if you're down with flying something cool where function isn't the top priority, then this is definitely the ship for you. So exterior design-wise, if you've ever seen any of my other builds, all Nova Galactic style ships I've made contain a rear spine section where most main modules, main engine, and fuel tanks are located. I love putting those rear spine sections on my Nova Galactic builds because I feel it really goes hand in hand with their so-called NASA Punk aesthetics. So with the Venerator, I wanted to actually flip it and put the rear spine in the front this time and sort of play in the whole Nova Galactic is a classic vintage vehicle mentality, but work it into the overall aesthetic. So I tried to have the body shape and placement of modules be reminiscent of any classic vintage muscle car without being too on the nose and retaining the spaceship look and feel. I also injected a small amount of inspiration from the Event Horizon movie ship, attempting to make the bow have a bit of a T-shape up front and trying to make it be kind of as tall as the aft section. So the main inspiration comes from Deluxe Justin, another shipbuilder I met from the official Bethesda Discord shipbuilding channel. And they made an insanely cool armillary ship aptly named Pose Flight. It features a triple hab with viewport setup that surround the grav drive, and you can even see the armillary plain as day upstairs from the Ares Bridge floor window. Using an A-class drive, you're able to have a 100% unobstructed view of the armillary if you have it built on your ship. Really awesome work and an inspiration to many of us other shipbuilders. So thanks a ton for sharing Deluxe Justin and their ship build is linked in the description below. So interior design wise, my upper decks hab layout is almost an exact copy of Justin's Coe's flight ship, featuring the same triple hab setup and Ares bridge on the top. This, in my opinion, is the main cool factor of the Venerator, other than its front spine section. But I did branch out a little bit from my usual use of HABs, and one whole floor this time is all Hope Tech, where some of the aforementioned inspiration from the Event Horizon movie ship is located. Hope Tech HAB spines line the entire front spine, so you can actually walk all the way from aft to the computer core at the bow. Just try not to murder your whole crew in the process. I'll be giving an interior tour towards the end of the video, so if you're not interested in heading off into the Builder with us, go ahead and skip there now. Before we start in the Builder, uh, I got three disclaimers for you. This will not be a Ship Builder Tool tutorial, this will be a Ship Build tutorial. I will be showing you how to build this specific ship and assuming that you're already comfortable with the Ship Builder. To build the Venerator to exacting specifications, you'll need rank 4 ship designs, up to rank 3 piloting, and to be level 60 or above. Again, this is required for exacting specifications, so you'll be able to build this ship without all that, but your mileage may vary based on your own level and skill ranks. Last, this ship relies on some glitch building, uh, the flip glitch to be exact. If you don't know how to do this, I'll be showing you how real quick during the builder segment. Things like your achievements won't be affected and you won't be branded as a cheater. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, it's time to head off to go get some Star Yard specific modules. First, we're going to head to Deimos Star Yards. We're going to grab one DS40.2 Ares Bridge. Next, at the Nova Galactic Vendor at New Homestead, we're going to get four NG-20 landing gear and two Nova Cross passages. Next, at Hope Tech in the Valo system, we're going to need four HAB spines, one 2x2 battle stations, 
and one Companion Way Fuselage A. And that's all of it, so I'll see you off in the Builder. Okay, so here we are in the Builder. Uh, as you can see, I have everything exploded out. Um, so right here, these are all of our Habs. Over here, this is one of the, what I like to call a big pile of stuff. This big pile of stuff is going to surround all these Habs once they're completed. And there's the landing gear for that section. And then over here, with all this stuff, this is the front area. This is the big pile of stuff for the front spine section, and here's the Habs layout for the front spine section. So I've got the ship basically divided into the forward and the aft sections. So we're basically going to be assembling the aft section first, then the forward section last, um, starting with the Habs for each. So without further ado, let's get started with um, getting this Habs layout. Okay, so our Habs are all laid out in front of us here, um, right down below. Uh, this is our first deck. Here's our second, our third, and then the fourth, the top deck. So open your build menu, tab on over to your um, landing bays tab, and find this Shipbed 200 landing bay from Tile. It's the one with the door in the back. I love using that one. There's no ladder to clutter up your, uh, your pristine floors. <laughs> So then directly behind our landing bay, we're going to place a Nova Galactic 2x1 workshop. And that concludes our first floor. This over just a little bit. So moving up one floor, um, uh, on these both attachment points on the top of our, our workshop here goes this 2x2 battle stations that you picked up from Hope Tech. And that gets mounted just like that. Then on the other side of the 2x2 two two right here where my mouse is, um, we're going to be placing a Hope Tech all in one berth. 2x1. Like that. And then back over to our 2x2 two two hab, um, we're going to be placing a Nova Galactic 1x1 one one right there on that attachment point. Like that. And that concludes the second deck. So let's move up to the uh, third deck. And I'm going to drag this back over here. So on this point here, we're going to be placing a Nova Galactic all-in-one berth A. Then on this attachment point goes a Nova Galactic Science Lab 2x1, just like this. And then on the other side, affixed to this point on the other side, um, goes a Nova Galactic Computer Core. Okay. Let's go ahead and move up one level. Right on this point goes the Hope Tech Fuselage A that you picked up from the Valo system. Just like that. And then in front of it goes the Deimos Ares Bridge. And that completes the main hab layout. So let's just not forget about our docker here like I did. Uh, swing the camera around to the bottom. And we're just going to be placing a 100 DP slim docker bottom on this point here on our workshop. And congratulations, that concludes the main hab layout. Very, very simple. So now that we have the habs assembled, um, I want to give a few comments on it. Um, first, let's talk about the pathing. So here on the bottom floor, on this 2x1 workshop, this is your point of entry. Both exit and entry points are attached to it. So when you come in uh, to access the rest of the ship, um, there is going to be one little ladder on this point right here that goes up into the 2x2 two two battle stations. Um, sometimes it puts it here. Uh, it doesn't seem like it can make up its mind sometimes. Um, so there's going to be either a ladder here or a ladder there. Um, and then to access the rest of the ship, um, you'll walk through a door into this one by one here, and there should be one ladder well that grants you access to the rest of the vessel. Okay. Um, originally, my my first design was I had a I did have a one by one here like that, so there would only be one ladder well, but. Um, from the exterior, it made the back section look way too Minecraft blocky. So I opted to just deal with it so I can add this, see this cargo module over here, how it gives a nice angled look at the back. Uh, that's gonna go in this empty spot. So it gives the back 
of the ship a little bit more depth so it doesn't look so blocky. The other thing I'd like to talk about, um, let's move the bridge off real quick. So this, these three halves right here, um, this is the Deluxe Justin setup. So these three halves with the Deimos bridge on top, this is, this is all Deluxe Justin right here. Uh, that's the idea I took from them. Um, this empty spot here, um, windows are going to surround these three halves. This is the triple hab setup, so you can actually look out inside the armillary. And then there's one final thing I'd like to talk about real fast. Um, so if you decide to use a different 2x2 two two hab, just make sure that you place it on this 1x1 one one the way it wants to go. So what I mean by that, let's just delete it and say you don't want the battle stations. What if you want a Hope Tech Brig? Uh, you, you need to connect it to this 1x1 one one the way it wants to go. Um, see that? How it's kind of shifting left and right like that? Um, that's because that's where it wants to put the door. If you deviate from what I have, just make sure you place the 2x2 two two the way it wants to go on this 1x1. One one. And that's it. So let me just control Z all the way back to what we had. And now we can go ahead and move on to um, all these um, structural pieces. Okay, to start with the big pile of stuff for the aft section, I'm just going to take our build and move it closer to our workspace so we can see better. And these guys got to get moved off. Okay, so before we get started placing everything, just let me... Uh, give a quick rundown again. Uh, this pile of stuff here has a little bit of everything. Structural, cargo, fuel tanks, engines, there's a shield there. I usually do it category by category so we don't have to flip back and forth in the build menu, but this is such a small section I don't think it's going to matter. So um, we're going to be flip-flopping a lot in the uh, build menu. So just try to pay attention to uh, the categories that I give off as we go along if you're trying to build with me. Okay, so before we get started, um, let's move our Ares bridge off real quick. Uh, we're going to put the little pieces inside of the armillary viewing chamber first. Uh, this is the Deluxe Justin triple hab setup right here. Uh, so tab over to your structural bits. Um, we're going to be placing portholes, three portholes on all of these empty faces inside of the viewing chamber. Okay, so structural. We're going to use a four porthole there on the all in one berth. And then a port and starboard porthole just like that and so pretty self-explanatory windows on all halves here so we can see now this part's optional you don't have to do it if you don't want to um, but uh, if you do want to do this uh, put an equipment plate here on top of our 2x2 two two, then tab over to your weapons and uh, grab yourself a firebolt 4000 suppressor now I have this in here, not for a weapon, but it's purely cosmetic. I put that inside the armillary viewing chamber because of the front looks like a dish. So I was thinking, you know, giving it some sort of cosmetic piece that makes it look like there's some kind of containment beam being shot at the armillary. I don't know. You can use your imagination if you'd like. This does actually block the view quite considerably if you're in the uh, all one berth trying to look through this window. Um, I like it. I think it makes it look ominous. You can see just the top half of the armillary spinning around with this containment beam piece sitting here. But uh, if you don't like it, you don't think you'll like it, then just omit that. Um, but it's going in my build. Okay, so let's go ahead and close her back up. So move the Ares bridge back on. Okay, so let's get the rest of the aft section assembled. Um, like I said, we're going to be flip-flopping a lot in the builder menu categories, so hopefully um, I can do this in such a way that you can follow along pretty easily. So to start, tab to your structural. We're going to be using two Hope Tech Pipes 4, and we're going to be placing them here and here on either side of our Ares bridge. So as you can see, it's clipping inside the Ares bridge a little bit, so we're going to have to do a glitch build right off the bat. So let me show you how to perform the glitch build real fast. So to perform the flip glitch, we can't just hover our mouse over the connector point and select it from the menu. It does not work that way. You have to place the item you want glitch built in the builder space first. So go ahead and place two of these pipes. Uh, we're going to click and drag this to the point that we want it connected to, and we're going to let it snap in place. Hear that sound effect? It snapped. 
And now we're going to flip, flip, move the mouse cursor a little bit so it resnaps. Hear that? And then cancel. Then I like to double click the whole build just to verify that's connected, and it is. So let me do that one more time for you on the other side. So we click and drag. We snap it to the point that we want it on. It's snapped. Flip, flip. Sound effect, cancel. Double click, it's connected. Cool. So if that was your very first glitch build, then congrats, you just did it. Uh, it's not too hard, and honestly, it really becomes muscle memory after a certain period of time. So if you're okay with using exploits like these, then it's going to open up a lot of creative opportunities for you if you really enjoy exterior ship design as I do. Now just know these pipes are clipping through the bridge some. Um, inside these two little side rooms. I almost never go in these side rooms, so it doesn't bother me much, but if it bothers you, you might need to find another option for, for these shoulders of the top of the ship here, or just totally omit it altogether. So I wanna give one quick comment on the uh, flip glitch maneuver. I've had some people commenting recently telling me that you actually have to keep your left mouse button depressed for the entirety of the maneuver, so what they mean is you when you click and drag it, you obviously hold the left mouse button to drag it, and you have to keep it depressed the entire time you do the flip flip sound effect maneuver. I just want to say, at least on the PC with the mouse and keyboard, that's not true. I almost never keep my left mouse button held. Um, sometimes I do have to keep it held, but most of the time I don't hold it. Watch. Once it snaps into place, I just release the left mouse button. Snapped, release, look. And then I can move it all around. Look, I can even move the piece all around the build space like a wild guy. And then boom, flip, flip, sound effect, cancel. So I don't know if this is a PC only thing, so my apologies, I'm not trying to mislead any of you. So if you've got carpal tunnel syndrome like I do, and you're looking to minimize death grip time on your mouse, um, <laughs> you don't have to keep it held most of the time. Sometimes you do, most of the time you don't. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so now that we have these guys placed here, glitch built in, um, we're actually gonna do this whole back section a little bit later. So let's go ahead and swing the camera around and go down one level. We're gonna be focusing on these two faces right here. So these two levels, um, we're just gonna deal with all this in one go. So focusing on these two points, um, tab over to your fuel tank section and we're going to be finding two M40 Ulysses Helium-3 tanks. And we're going to be placing two of them, one on either side, attached to those two points. So it should look something like this. Next, let's focus on this point here and on the other side as well. So those two points. Tab over to your structural tab. We're going to be using two of these quarter cylindrical Nova Galactic aft cowlings. One per side, right behind our M40 Helium-3 tank. Okay, let's go ahead and focus on the attachment point underneath those aft cowlings we just placed. So right here, we're going to be using two Nova Galactic braking engines, one per side inside of that empty spot like that. One there, one there. Okay. Now we can move on to the back side. Focusing on these empty spaces here, um, tab over to your engines tab. We're gonna be using two Nova 1050 engines. And they get placed in that space, just like that on either side of our ladder wheel. Okay. Focusing on this point on the back of our fuselage A companionway, tab back over to your structural tab. We're going to be using this Hope Tech Pipes aft, placed like this. Let's move down one level, focusing on both of these faces right here in the back side of our ladder well. We're just going to be placing two um, aft facing portholes, like so. Okay, and let's turn the camera a little bit. On the underside of our Hope Tech Pipes aft goes a Stroud Engine Bracer B. So you got a little rudder thing hanging there or some sort of manual refueling point, whatever you want. Use your imagination. 
let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Let's refocus on these glitch built Hope Tech pipes pieces we placed earlier. Okay. Under your structural tab, we're going to be using two Deimos aft bellies. These are going to need to get glitch built because I think the bottom side of this belly piece clips in with the Nova engines. See, it won't let us. Let us do that. So the game says no, we say yes. Now that you know how to glitch build, place the items inside your builder space, attach it to the point, flip, flip, cancel, it's connected. So do that on the other side. And it's done. Excellent. So focusing on this Deimos belly piece that we just glitch built, the one on the port side, left hand side, let's grab a Hope Tech marker and that gets stuck right there. Okay. And on the starboard, the right hand side belly piece um, goes our shield gen. I'm using personally the Vanguard Bulwark shield generator. It's one of the best B class ones I've seen, and it's only accessible after the first Vanguard mission. So if you haven't done it yet, I highly recommend it. You get access to some pretty nice ship modules as a result. We're done with all these levels now. Let's go to the belly. Focusing on this point and then the same point on the other side, um, tab over to your cargo holds, find two Stormax 60s, and they get placed on that point on either side, like that. Okay? So let's pan the camera around inside this empty space here and find yourself a 10ST cargo hold. And that goes inside of that empty space like that. Okay. Last, go on over to your landing gear tab find two of our Nova Galactic 20 landing gear that we got from New Homestead and flip it to the wide variant. And they're gonna get placed right there, directly behind our Stormax 60 and directly underneath our Nova braking engines. One per side, just like that. Let's go ahead and double click to make sure everything is connected. And it looks, it looks good. So we are done mostly done with our aft section. So let's go ahead and move on over to our forward spine. I've done a tiny bit of cleanup here, so sorry if that's a little bit disorienting. Uh, we're gonna be working in this space right here now, okay? Um, so to begin with assembling the forward spine section, we're going to need to attach all the halves to the aft section first because the entire um, front spine section is built around all these halves. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that done first. So swing your camera around to look at it from the front. Let's focus on this point right here on our Hope Tech Battle Stations 2x2. And we're going to be using under your Habs tab all four of our Hope Tech Hab spines. So go ahead and get those placed. All right, and then as you can see here, um, find your Nova cross passages, and they're going to get attached to either side of that final hab spine right here. And then right up front goes a Hope Tech computer core, just a simple old two by one. And that is the entirety of the habs for the uh, front spine section. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click and move this build over like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, complete the other half of the forward spine section. This forward spine is two blocks in height. It's just hard to tell because it's covered in so many cosmetic items here. Let's go ahead and get this top half of the forward spine assembled. This is a big old hodgepodge of different kinds of parts, so we're going to be flipping a lot. So let's go ahead and focus on this point right here on our half spine. Um, tap over to your grab drive section. The one that I'm using is the Helios 400 grab drive. I know it's an underpowered drive for the uh, reactor class that we're using, but it's the only grab drive that I could find that has the 
unobstructed view of the armillary. And this is most likely, without a doubt, the same exact one that Deluxe Justin used as well in their build. Um, so if you if you value performance over aesthetic, you can actually place a B-class grav drive here if you'd like. I believe this is probably going to be the max level one that gives 36 jump thrust. If you place it there, um, you'll get a lot more jump range out of it. Um, but this disc here blocks a lot of the armillary view. So let's go ahead and focus on the point in front of the grav drive. Tab over to your fuel tank section. Find yourself three of these 600T Helium 3 tanks. We're going to be placing three of them. The first one gets attached to the back side of our grav drive, like this. Okay. And then the other two that get side mounted get attached to this point on the fuel tank and then that point on the hab spine. Like so. And then on the other side as well. Like that. And that gives us our little circular shape of fuel tanks that I so often do on my uh, Nova Galactic spines. So let's go ahead and focus on this point in front of the fuel tanks. Tab on over to your reactors tab. We're going to be using this B-class 104DS mag inertial reactor. Bit of a mouthful. <laughs> I believe this is the max level B-class reactor and look at how much power it generates it generates a lot more than some of the c-class ones do um, but yeah that one this is the one i'm using so let's go ahead and focus on the point in front of that reactor tab on over to your cargo holds we're going to be using this galleon s204 hold right in front of it now if you don't value having all that cargo um, all of these racks down below give you a tiny bit of storage so if you don't want this uh, if you prefer the mobility you can delete it and our mobility goes up 21 points so i'm going to keep it in my build though next let's focus on this point right here in front of the cargo hold tab back over to your structurals we're going to be placing a tile forward sensors like so okay and then on the point in front of it goes a nova galactic cowling you see, we're going to need to glitch build that, so... Okay. Let's take care of some of these items that go on the top deck. Focus on this point right here on those tile forward sensors. We're going to just place a Hope Tech Marker A. Right there. Okay. And then moving back a couple spaces on top of our reactor, we're going to use this Nova engine struts and that kind of makes it look like we're popping that up a little bit okay so now that we got most of this front spine placed we are now able to place everything else around it so this section is going to be a little bit of a mess because there's different types of pieces and there's a lot of glitch building that goes on here and some of the glitches uh, that we have to do we're going to need to get a little creative with so i'll try to make this as painless as possible but we will be going slightly out of order and we will be flipping back and forth a lot in the build menu so try to bear with me as best you can so let's start focusing on these two points here on these habs we're going to go into our structural tab and attach a hope tech radiator these big ones on the other side of the ship like so Let's go ahead and turn our camera around to look at the underside of those hub tech radiators we just placed. Tab over to your landing gears tab. Find the last two of our NG20 landing gear and place them underneath our radiators. You can use whichever variant you want. I'm using the four variant so, I get, so we get this nice sloped nose cone effect down there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move forward some. We're going to skip all this for now. Let's go ahead and look at our Nova Kraus passages on both sides, focusing on the ends, both ends. Tab over to your engines tab. Grab two White Dwarf 2030 engines, and they get placed on the ends like this. Let's go ahead and move forward one slot, focusing on this spot on our computer core. 
both sides again. Tap over to your landing gears tab. We're gonna use two of these NG-10 landing gear. Like that, okay? Tabbing over to your structural, we're gonna be using two of these Nova cowlings. They're the quarter cylindrical variants, the four variants, and they get placed on either side. Okay, focusing on the nose right here. We're just going to place a simple old porthole. Let us swing the camera around so we can see the belly of our 2x1 hab up at the bow. We're going to use a Deimos Spine F in the front. Doesn't really matter, but I have the slope of my F spine facing forward. Behind that F spine, we're going to place a Deimos Skeg A. Just like that. There's our little T-shape. Okay. All right, so our venerator build is almost done, uh, but I did save the best for last. So we're gonna finish up this build by placing the rest of our uh, sort of cosmetic pieces here. This is where most of the glitch building is going to occur. Some of these glitch builds are going to get a little bit messy, um, but I'm going to do my best to be as descriptive behind the theory as possible, especially for those new glitch builders among us. Uh, if you're a seasoned glitch builder, you're probably going to want to just fast forward it because I'm going to be talking through the glitch build process quite a bit here. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. If you saw the intro video, you'll see these caps give nice leading lines on the top deck area of the the, the front spine so we're going to be placing that now so focusing on this box here this cargo box uh, on both sides here we're going to be placing two tayo side caps no glitch build required they just snap right in place like so um, however uh, we want to have these nova galactic wings here to serve as kind of an accent piece so obviously we need to glitch build it to the box the storage container but the glitch build won't work because there's nothing for the wing to attach to in the first place, so you have to have an anchor point. So what we're going to do, we're just going to create two temporary anchor points for it. Um, I'm going to control click these two helium-3 tanks and control G to copy them. And place them like so. And then this point here on both sides, that point and that point are both going to serve as our temporary anchor points. So go ahead and perform the glitch maneuver on your noble wings now. Boom. And boom. Double click to verify everything's connected, and it is. So we don't want these fuel tanks here, so just control click them and delete them. Let's verify those wings are still connected, and they are. Excellent. So let's go ahead and um, move on to our reactor. Take a deep breath, no glitch building required. Our two si tile side caps just snap right in place, no problems. Let's go ahead and uh, move down a level. Let's focus on these bottom connection points for our fuel tanks. We're gonna be using two Hope Tech radiators, placed like this, okay? And if we swing the camera around here, and focus on that point there on both sides. Uh, we're gonna be glitch building two of these four facing Hope Tech pipes in. And you don't really look at that spot much and it's kind of a hard spot to see, but I did wanna make, I did wanna have that continuity of, you know, a, a radiator pipeline that, or a fuel pipeline of some kind that runs all the way to these front engines and back. So, to do that, we'll just take these pipes and do the old flip glitch. And it's connected. Nice. All right, so I saved the very best for last. Okay, so focus on the uh, grav drive. If you're using the A-class grav drive like I am, unfortunately, there's no side mounts to it. Um, we're, we want to put these Tayo side caps on the side, but... Um, we're gonna have to fool the system because there's no side mounts. So we're gonna do kind of a glitch within a glitch build here. Um, before we do that, um, very, very quickly, I want you to focus on this hab spine below the grav drive here, okay? We're just going to temporarily copy these Tayo side caps and fill in both of these 
slots here, these anchor points, uh, because they'll cause us a little bit of grief when we do the main glitch build if we don't fill in that hole. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, this one needs to get glitch built for some strange reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but that gets glitched in there. Double click, okay. And again on the other side. And that one does not need glitch build for some reason. But either way, both of those slots are now taken up and they won't cause us any issues when we do the main glitch build. So what we're basically going to be doing here, we're going to be attaching these two side panels to themselves to this wing, which then in turn will be attached to the main body of the ship. So that's how we're going to achieve having a uh, tie side cap mounted not to the grav drive, but to the wings itself. So let's get that started. So place a Nova Galactic wing in your builder. Go ahead and glitch build it onto the main body of the uh, ship. Okay. Then take a Tayo side cap and we're gonna flip it to this orientation, starboard. And that gets glitch built onto the side of the wing that we just placed. Okay. Then we're gonna remove the wing so that way we can attach a side cap to the starboard side cap like this okay no glitching required and then we're just going to glitch build the wing right back in and it's connected see check it out if i remove the wing and double click these two pieces are attached to each other but they're not attached to the to the main ship so you have to we have to have something that connects that to the rest of the ship and that's what the wing does but the wing the wing was always there i i like that wing because it has a nice little intake look um so let's go ahead and do that to the other side real fast whoops All right, and that's taken care of now. So it's up to you. You can delete these if you'd like or leave them. Can't really see up there anyway, um, but for my build, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. I just wanna make a couple comments on this section here. Uh, so I did try my hardest to have these Tayo side caps get glitch built in here and the fuel tank being attached to this spot here. I did try another glitch that I didn't use in this build, uh, so I won't go into depth about how it works since it's not really relevant, but for those of you experienced glitch builders, um, I did try this. I, I tried the copy glitch. Um, no matter what I tried, I couldn't get either the fuel tanks or the tile side caps to vertically glitch using the copy glitch. Any of you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comments section because I would totally love to have one main continuous line of tile side caps that run through the fuel tanks. So let's go ahead and get these hard points placed. Um, use whatever guns you like. I'm using PB-175s. On my particular build, I'm just tossing them on the Ares bridge here and tossing them on the front on these glitch built wings like so. And that's that. If you want any more guns on yours, feel free. Um, but this is how I've got mine configured. And with that, that is our venerator completely done. Congratulations, you made it through that crazy glitch building here. Um, I hope it was okay to understand. I've never done any glitch building that heavy before, but uh, I really wanted to have these lines. So I, I tried my best to make it happen. So with everything placed, let's go ahead and talk about the coloring. All right, so I'm not gonna go into great detail on each and every individual piece's coloring. I'm just gonna talk about my mindset here. Um, so if you guys know some of my past Nova Galactic builds, I pretty much stick with Nova Galactic colors that originated from the original NASA Prism ship designed by Bethesda. These Tayo pieces give you a really nice stripe option um, to paint here. So that's why these are here. You get a nice, red stripe down the middle. 
the real kicker is with this Deimos Ares bridge because the default color is like this gunmetal black color and it makes the piece look really aggressive. So oftentimes when you throw a default colored Ares bridge in at least my personal opinion on something like a Nova Galactic build, um, the two colors look a little silly together. If you prefer this NASA white uh, space shuttle white color that the Nova Galactic parts come default with, you can you can actually try to match the Ares Bridges colors with the Nova Galactic, which is what I did. And it you get this really, really cool looking red, white, and blue effect on the top. And then the white just blends in really nicely with the default colors of the um, Nova Galactic caps. If you want to check out my color scheme here for the Ares Bridge, there's the uh, white color that I used to try to match it with the Nova Galactic Habs. Here's the uh, red, and here's the uh, blue. So that's it for my coloring mindset. <laughs> so now that we got our colored up, I think we should go inspect the interior. So I'll see you inside. All right, so here we are at Eeg Ship Shop. It's a beautiful evening. And right behind me is the venerator. So let's uh, head on inside and see what's going on. You can see above us, here's the uh, front spine section and all those uh, Hope Tech Hab spines. And that glow that you can see refracting off the fuel tanks there, that's from the armillary. So we'll uh, head on upstairs and take a look at that in a second. So I'm not going to go into grave detail on each Hab, uh, but I'll, I will be giving a few tidbits here and there. So here we are on the first floor. This is the Nova Galactic 2x1 workshop where all entry and exit points connect. Here's our little mini one ladder ladder well that leads us to the second deck. And we are now in our 2x2 Hope Tech Battle Stations hab. I admit I didn't used to like these. Um, the grunge and the darkness, I didn't like it at first, but uh, when I got kind of inspired a little bit by um, the Event Horizon movie ship and, you know, it just it just really made sense and it clicked. Um, so, yeah, slowly falling in love with these Habs. And here's our quadruple Hab spine setup that lines the entire front spine section. I love walking through long stretches of these hallways. It just has such a nice cramped spaceship feel to it. And here we are at the bow in our um, computer core. Another really cool hab if you've never seen one before. Looks like um, these ladies are deciding to have a party up here today. Here's our front viewport. It's the forest below Eeg Ship Shop. Nice, nice views here. Um, wondering if Andreja caught us any Xenobores recently. Getting kind of hungry for some, for a boar roast again. Let's go on and move our way to the back of the ship. Moving back through the uh, front spine, back into the 2x2 two two battle stations. Let's look starboard for a second. This is the starboard berth hab, where all the crew stay. Real lived in, real grungy. I wouldn't live here. But I love looking at it. <laughs> Let's move to the stern section. So we are now in the main stairwell. This gets us to the rest of the ship. And this is all the way at the back. So here's our rear porthole. Let's go on upstairs to the third deck. And we will now be entering into the uh, Habs layout that I took directly from Shipbuilder Deluxe Justin. Um, this was their idea. Uh, they probably didn't use the same Habs I did. I stuck with my Nova Galactic theme here, but um, check this out. This is what I was talking about. Putting that, that EM gun in here um, really gives you kind of a nice ominous half view of the glow and the uh, metal pieces spinning around. Um, I kind of role play that piece as a containment beam, um, not EM gun. <laughs> um, you get a more full on view in these side rooms here. So we're uh, on the starboard side in the computer room here. And there's our containment beam, not EM gun. And there's the armillary. Really, really cool idea. 
There's our Deimos Ares bridge up top. So let's head on up there next. Best view in a house, in my opinion. Gonna make me do this the hard way, huh? There we go. So here's our um, Hope Tech Fuselage A that we picked up there from Valo. And inside the Ares Bridge we are now. Let me show you this side room real quick. This is our glitch build that I mentioned. Um, this is what it's gonna look like. Part of those Hope Tech 4 pipes are gonna be clipping through the side room here. Um, if this is a deal breaker, then you're probably going to want to figure something else out for the exterior of the ship here in the corner. I'm willing to deal with it. <laughs> so this is, uh, real quick, the uh, view from the pilot's chair. A significant amount of your view is going to get blocked by this um, fuel tank sticking up, so you... I, it's your call, but I like having it there. I don't mind obstructions. Um, from an exterior design point, I tried to make it, I wanted to have something sticking up there to maybe kind of be reminiscent of a supercharger sticking out of a, a vintage car's hood, something like that. And then here is the view that we get of the Armillary. Again, 100% somebody else's idea. This was uh, Shipbuilder Deluxe Justin's setup. Um, this is not my idea at all. But this is the views that we're treated of if you uh, copy their build idea. And uh, I think it's a great idea. I love this. Um, in fact, the Venerator has been the ship that I've been roaming around the galaxy in um, all week. <laughs> so, and that's that. That concludes the interior tour. All the ladders and doors are exactly where they should be. Armillary is in place and contained. No abnormal readings from the grav drive. So I think she's space worthy. So I shall see you in space. Well, that just about does it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was clear and easy enough for you to follow. Most importantly, I hope you enjoy your new Nova Galactic Federator. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>